it's this is so embarrassing to even admit. Uh -huh. But I, I I used to do things right like that. Like pretend to read Dostoevsky. Yes, I'll have a Dostoevsky book. <laughs> like like the idiot. <laughs> Never read it. How old were you when you were doing this? I would probably in my twenties. Mm -hmm. Right. It's borderline. <laughs> it's borderline. <laughs> the late bloomer. Dude, we all did that. I used to do. Sh I almost robbed a movie theater one time just so I had, could have something cool to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Near women that I was afraid to talk about. Yeah, that's what talk to. Yeah, we do things. You know what I mean? But why, that's not. Why a movie theater? Oh man, this is a long story. But like the dude that I knew, uh, he had already robbed it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, okay. Yeah. He had already robbed. It. No, no, no. Doable. This, this, it was long, doable. this This has been long enough. Yeah, it's been yeah. long enough. Okay. So what he did. <laughs> Already did. It. <laughs> I gotta tell this story vaguely. Okay. All right. So let's just say there was this guy, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is—it's really just punk stuff. So he went to a movie. Yeah. That nobody wanted to see, and he went to the last showing. Uh -huh. And he waited for the five, six people that went to it. They emptied out. And then him and his buddy went up and they stood behind the screen and they just let them clean up and lock up. And then uh. they locked up. And then when they went out, this is like the 80s. And then they fucking turned the asteroids game around in Pac-Man and broke the padlock, got all the quarters. Uh. <laughs> oh, wow. And then just went out the door. And by the time the alarm and the cops get there, you're gone. Yeah. So then he goes to me. Um... <laughs> He goes, you know, there's a safe in the office. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to talk to women. Yeah. This sounds good to me. <laughs> so it's the same thing. Going to go to some shit movie nobody sees. You stand behind the screen. And then when they leave, I go, well, they're going to lock the office door. And he goes, no, but they got the ceiling tile. He goes, you just push those things up and over. And then his idea was we were going to just take the whole safe because it wasn't big ah, and then take it out, throw it in the back of my truck. And I go, and then what? I go, and he goes, then we drive away. I go, how do we get it open? He goes, oh, fucking hit it with a sledgehammer and a blowtorch and shit. Well, here's the thing about a safe. Two things. You don't want somebody to be able to open it and you don't want somebody to be able to pick it up and leave with it. I mean, the heaviest shit. It was the stupidest fucking idea um, ever. And I was going to do it and I called it off. <laughs> And not even out of just, this is stupid, I, something came up. And I called it off. <laughs> right, right. And, oh, we would have been on America's Dumbest Criminal. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> Without yeah. a doubt. How are we going to get up and over the door? Because yeah. this is the thing. There was a big glass lobby. Mm. And then the office was in the corner. So if you happen to be driving by and watching this dude giving me like 10 fingers, however the fuck <laughs> we're going to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like, how are we going to get the safe out? Right. We don't have a two wheeler. We don't got, we don't have anything to put it on. Yeah. What were we going to do other than we were going to get caught? And I asked the cop one time what, what I would have got. I go, oh, you would have done, uh, you would have done. Oh, three years for that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, yeah, he goes, yeah. well, there's no gun involved. He kind of broke the whole thing down. Three to five, you'd probably do half. Two and a half, three, you'd be out. My, 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 I, my cousin and I robbed a dr Ross Dress for Less. Oh. I mean, robbed the... the no, he okay. went in, pretended yeah. he had a gun. He oh. was 16. Oh, my God. Right? <laughs> and when he ran in, without even anything happening, I drove away. You left him there? I left him there. What happened to him now? Because I thought cops, I heard cops coming. Yeah. Right? He had just walked in. Cops are coming. It was just like it's an like instinctual. like a thief hypochondriac. <laughs> <laughs> it was like an instinctual, and I just left him there, right? Yeah. And, and then he turned out, when he walked in, he didn't do the gun thing. Mm -hmm. He just tried to steal some shoes, because he had like a toy gun mm -hmm. that he was going to, right? But he went to juvie, but I ran away from home. I, I lived in, in my car in Orange County for a week. Right, and then I, and then I called my mom, but um, yeah, that was real scary. <laughs> that was my that's the last criminal thing that I had done. You know I think I mean? it's even more criminal that you left your own. I'm a coward. I'm a that. coward. I'm a coward. I already I already know that. I own up to I already own up to that shit. I'm a coward. I'm weak.
You know what I mean? We had one where you cover up the license plate with snow, and then the person goes into the liquor store, acts like they're going to buy the case of beer, and then right as you get up to the register, then you just run out, jump in the car, and you take off. <laughs> so we sent uh, uh, the flakiest friend we had for some dumb reason to go <laughs> in and do it. Yeah. And he ended up chicken. He chickened out, right? And then we every weekend we would do it, and every weekend he would chicken out, and then that became the bit. Let's just send him in there, watch him bitch up. <laughs> And then just stand there and be like, I don't have an ID. And we would die laughing. And then we'd try to get somebody to buy booze for us. So one day we were like day drinking and we were fucking hammered. And we were in my buddy's station wagon, me, him, and this, this dude. And we went to this liquor store. And I was like, all right, dude. <laughs> I didn't even cover up the license plate. It was a summertime. <laughs> all right, go over there and do it. So I'm sitting there with this other guy. And we're just laughing and sitting there. And he goes, he's not really going to do this, is he? He goes, nah, nah. He's not gonna do it, right? <laughs> He's just going to chicken out and we'll find somebody else. It's a funny thing. And then all of a sudden, we just heard this commotion. <laughs> <laughs> he, comes, he comes running around. The, I'll never forget it. He ran around the corner, and he's looking back. <laughs> Instead of running, he's, yeah. he's, 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 he's uncoordinated, and he's got a case of beer, and he's looking back. Dude, and I swear to God, the fattest chick you've ever seen in your life is right on his ass <laughs> with a pencil and a fucking pad of paper. So now we're starting to drive away. Oh, oh, oh. We're going, come on, come on, come on. He's running. <laughs> he I got the tailgate down yeah, yeah, on, yeah, the, yeah. On, on the station wagon. Yeah, yeah. And he dives in. And as we're driving away, I hear her yell out. Like, she's like, BX958, I got it, I got it. <laughs> Damn. And then wow. my buddy driving is almost in tears. He's like, dude, what the fuck did you do? Why did you do that? You said he wasn't going to do it. Like, he always chickened out. He always just, yeah. we got to get rid of the beer. So we go into this. It's just typical yeah. punk yeah. suburb yeah. shit. So yeah. we pull in, and, I, and I'm hammered. Yeah. I grab this case of beer, <laughs> and I run up this guy's lawn, and I see somebody vaguely in the driveway looking at me, and I throw it under the shrub and then run away. With the, guy, the owner of the house is looking at me. Yeah. That's how drunk I was. Yeah. We get in the car, we leave. Long story short, uh, my buddy's neighbor was a cop. He recognized the plate. And then he goes, oh, oh gee, that's my jerk-off neighbor. I'll, I'll handle that after work. And then what ended up happening was um, the dude who did it and the dude who drove got in trouble for it and they didn't bring up that I was there. Oh. So then they went to court and I was like, well, there's no reason for you to go because they don't know. And then they, they had to pay some like uh, some fine conduct on becoming a good citizen. <laughs> yeah. They got like community service and shit like That's that. That's like East Coast Goodfellas shit. You don't rat. Yeah. Uh -huh. You don't rat. 